Hi there. It's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio. So late in the day, it might be virtually impossible to do what I have in mind, but I have leftover paint and I want to use it. And I'm going to do it in the fastest way possible with my glasses on and probably with a chain. And this, this already pre-primed black canvas is going to be my victim. This is for fun, and I'm going to take my shovel and grab some colors and put them willy-nilly <laughs> wherever I want. That's a lot of red. I want some orange. I don't have. That would be the man of the house deciding it's never too late to go in the pool. <laughs> Splash. I am not so sure I'm going to get away with this, but I don't give up easily and I have 17 minutes ish left. <laughs> so let's see what happens. I have been thoroughly enjoying playing fast and loose with paint. And I'm well and truly not done with it. That's some wonderful red. I'm going to add a little more of this orange. Oh, splooge. I know I'm not supposed to say that, but um, that's what it was. <laughs> Run right over the side, let it run right over the other side. There we go. All right, well, that's interesting. It's not hurting my feelings any yet. This might take a while, it might not take any time at all. I kind of hope it's not going to take any time at all because I'm not using up all my paint and I kind of think I'm not going to use up all my paint. I'm not trying to tip, so I use GAC 800, a golden, to keep my paints from cracking when they're drying. This is actually answering a few questions for me I had about some stuff I was thinking a little harder than I'm thinking about any of this right now. And I have skewers and things, and I want to just take this paint and put it aside and put a nice catcher over it, take a Princeton Catalyst spatula, try not to waste any more of the paint that is already being wasted. Because it's golden and shimmery. I use a iridescent pearl from Golden. It's expensive, but it's worth it. That's kind of fun. I'm not minding any of that. I'm going to take some more of it and put it right there. Splash. Try and replace splooge with splash. And I'm going to use my... Put that right in the bucket. Dump your water bucket if you can manage to fix it up with the paint water. Dump it into like another bucket with sand so that you suspend the paint in there and it doesn't go into the groundwater. I gotta tell you though, where I dump my my paint water, it uh, the grass is very, very happy, so I'm not too worried about it myself. I'm liking all the patterns I'm seeing and I'm just gonna keep using what I'm seeing. I'm gonna steal a little paint here and there. Run my spatula up and down and back and forth. Get all abstract expressionist on you. <laughs> because I can and it's fun to do. Just follow my instincts. It might not be super, super simple for everybody, but it takes time to get good at anything and I've been doing this for 18 months. Also, I sell my artwork in case you're interested. And 
there's over 280, 297 videos as of today, and today is going to be about 10 days earlier than you get to see this, because there's, <laughs> there's videos between now and then forever. I thought this would be quick, but I don't promise anymore. I'm having too much fun. And I just feel like I need a little tiny shot of pink. Here and there, and maybe everywhere. Who knows? It could happen. Especially with me. I'm just that willful. I'm just that strange. And just that happy to be so. Alright, I like that white. And I kind of want another white line. The sun is almost down. I better put some white on here or you won't be seeing much of anything. I like using the white and pulling it out and making marks with my spatula because it's fun. I recommend it. <laughs> Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatulas. Princeton Catalyst Art Tool Spatulas. Little spatulas from Princeton, I guess. Just watching what I'm doing a little bit here and there. I'm going to steal a little paint. Put it right up there. Steal a little more paint. Oh, that's such pretty paint, too. Put it right down there. Let's do a few of those over here. See if we can keep from disturbing things too awfully badly. Just creating some patterns. You know, it's it's just one of those moments where I got lucky again, and I'm going to call it good. And that pink completely disappeared. Oh my goodness! What am I going to do about that? I wanted that pink. I think it's pretty cool. It's not too elaborate, but it's still busy enough to be known as one of mine, I guess. Um, the only thing I really think I want to do is put a little gold in there, but it doesn't really need it. Just attach a few things to it, a few other things. That's fun. I'm having fun. I have wanted to utilize what I've been up to for a long time to just compose some stuff on the spot. I think this might be the perfect painting to allow myself to grab a few. Let's put those in the bucket before they get any harder. Grab a few dots of color from here or there or everywhere. And I have <laughs> stuck together bamboo skewers. So I'm going to take some of that white and just dot it up. Because I'm Dottie. <laughs> Actually, I'm not. That's my friend, Dottie. Dottie's a di different person than me. But uh, I see no reason why not to be indulgent. That pretty much covers <laughs> what happened in my life. <laughs> and I can also drag things across, which I just remembered. Might take a little longer than I have to give you. But we have eight minutes left, so we're all good. Let's steal some paint, shall we? I think that that bamboo skewer is just way too schmutzy. And I want a different one. A cleaner one. I didn't think about messing with my lines, but why not? Everything is texture.
I wonder what they're going to do with that hook. <laughs> uh, paint world. Alright, so I've got a skewer and I'm a paint stealer. And what I can do is what I always do is I can put some paint right on my skewer if I want that line to continue. And I do. Maybe in a few more places. That's just neat. I'm on a roll. I like this roll. <laughs> I kind of think if I put a few uh, white dots, I might be able to also sneak in a few pink dots. But I don't know that for sure until I try. So this is me trying. Grab as much of that as I can. Fortunately, tonight's dinner is leftovers and I'm not too late for... Don't call me late for... Oops. Okay, I guess that's supposed to be there. <laughs> I like the little bits of pink a lot. And I'm not done throwing them in there. Or there, evidently. <laughs> So, we have slight accidental art aspects, but otherwise I think that is a lot of fun, and I'm not going to complain about it. Because I enjoyed myself. I do want, I think, to put, what do I want? I want to be able to cautiously add some lines over here. Slowly and cautiously. And then maybe after, if I don't think that they're enough, I'll put some pink on there too. And I think I'm going to do that too. <laughs> I'm going to, after I go, I'm going to be trying to scrape the paint out of the rest of that dish and uh, save it very carefully without turning it into muck. Although right now I want some. On my spec on my skewer spatula, right? Yeah, good blend. Not unhappy about that. Well, I did say I wanted to add some gold, and uh, the nice thing about a canvas like this is that if I want to do that, I can do that tomorrow. I don't think I it really needs it, and I'm just completing those marks down over the side with my skewer. Completing the pattern. They don't have to be perfect. It's abstract. If you need perfection, stop watching my videos. <laughs> Sorry, just had to. Yeah, little bits of this and that and the other thing and I didn't do any blue or black and I got three minutes left to tell you everything I need to tell you which is if you like my artworks and you want to see what's going on in YouTube that I have posted on that Facebook album look for it at the bottom of the description under show more under the Amazon link where you can find my fabulous omelet turning spatula if you look for it and if you can't just talk to me communicate to me and I will do my best to get you the link because I did save it we have 297 videos. Watch some. Please. I invite you. Thank you all for all the subscriptions. We're almost to 30,000. We probably will be by the time you see this. And uh, I want to thank all my contributors who've kept me working consistently since I started doing this. When I ran out of my own money, you're the ones that kept me doing it. And also to those people who have purchased paintings from me, you have made a huge difference because Woman cannot live on contributions alone, evidently. So, if anybody feels like helping my studio out, I have no other income than YouTube. And my husband pays the bills, so that's fortunate, but we're about to take a big loss soon. Um, disability and Social Security and all that good stuff. 
Uh, so Patreon and PayPal are places that you can contribute, and there are links on the far right-hand cor down corner of my uh, YouTube header. And just stealing paint out of that dish. It's perfect. And I should check the other side, but I don't know if I care that much because everything is exactly like it should be. That's fun. I like this a lot. I am so happy that I can play with you guys. You inspire the heck out of me. Thank you for all your comments. Thank you again to all the contributors. There might be a book for Christmas. Cross your fingers for me. I hope so. For your sake too. Should be some good instructions in there and lists of tools and, uh, and links to videos and other things that I've done. I do have Pinterest and Instagram at the bottom of my face. Uh, at the bottom where the Facebook link is to the wet and dry artworks from YouTube um, that's not full and not up to date because Facebook's been messing with me. Um, there's, like I said, Pinterest and Instagram there. I could just diddle with this for a while. But um, but um, but um, bum. <laughs> I'm gonna take torch and try not to cook my paints. I think I'll just call this the ladders. And that was fun. Thank you so much for joining me. We use a torch for those of you who don't know because the paint recipe, which by the way is under the video, I think it's called my paint mixture recipe. There's Floatrol in the mix along with the GAC 800. The GAC 800 by Golden is only 10 or 20 percent to color and that keeps the paint when it's thick like this from cracking. And the rest is Floatrol. After I finish mixing color and GAC 800 then I double the amount at least with Floatrol until I get a nice mixture the thickness of warm honey and that's usually just perfect. And as I go along, I don't use any water. As I go along, I add more Floetrol if I need to, when I need to, and I don't worry about it. All my paint is in squeeze bottles, and sometimes I've been mixing them, mixing the paints right in the bottles lately, and they, that does work. I'm sure I've forgotten to tell you something, but keep watching videos, and I'm sure you'll get all that information as time goes on. I hope this doesn't dry too dark. I really like it. It's kind of kind of subtle and um, definitely funky, and it looks better on camera than it does in real life, and hopefully it'll look better in real life tomorrow. So I will see you guys anon. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida, out in the backyard, way too late at night at Expression Start Studio Gallery. I'm going to get cold for dinner in a minute, and I will talk to you soon. Keep communicating with me and asking me questions if you need to, and I will see you in the next video. Priscilla out. Bye for now.